Hello, everybody. Tim Knight here. It is a Wednesday, um, and we are coming up on the CPI tomorrow morning, which should shake up the market one way or the other. As for today, it's the same old, same old lifetime highs. We've got the ES, the NQ, and the RTY all up about not quite 1%. Lifetime highs on the S&P, lifetime highs on every NASDAQ index imaginable. I've got some charts ready to share with you. We're loaded and ready to go, so let's jump right in and talk about what is cooking. Here's a spider. Like I say, same old, same old. Lifetime highs every day. We've got another big old green bar right there. What this uh, this midline, this dashed line, which is the exact middle of this multi-decade channel, is key. You can see here that for a long time, it was just resistance again and again, here and here. Didn't even make it this far and here. And finally, and rather recently, the big day was back just last month on June 12. We, we just went jumping, made this big new gap up to the midline, gained strength and all along the way, check this out, supported beautifully. Isn't that extraordinary? That for a multi-decade channel, the 50% line would represent day after day after day after day firm support. And then last week, it got supercharged. Green, 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 little stall, little stall, and then another green. These were all still up, though. I guess this is, what, six updates in a row. And Tesla, unless it closes down today, was in its 11th day in a row of ascent. Here's the diamonds. Everything's up about 1%, as I say. Big old green bar on that one. There's the lifetime high. We'll see. It's a very sloppy chart. Uh, IYT, God bless it, is, is down again. This is uh, we, We've looked at this every day for weeks now. Hammering out what could be a major reversal pattern, not quite done yet. And I've mentioned, I've mentioned UAL, I've mentioned UPS, and there's a there's another one in there which is kind of interesting, which is CAR, uh, the uh, Avis Budget Group. This finished uh, this rectangular pattern way back in February, fell hard, pushed all the way back to the underbelly of that, to the res what is now resistance beneath all that overhead supply late in May, and then it's been falling ever since then. So this, this is looking quite vulnerable as well. Transport in general is just very vulnerable. EFA, zooming in on this one, very cool stuff. We have closed the gap perfectly. This gap between this bar here, which was the lifetime high, and the next day, this gap was held for weeks, and we've sealed it up today. So tomorrow, we'll instantly tell whether we're simply going to stay in that range and work our way lower, or if it's like a whole new era and it pushes out of that range or not. I mentioned in passing yesterday, Brazil EWZ went into that in a small way yesterday, added to that early today. It's up a little, but we've got a nice red bar here on the day. Just so far, so good on this one. It's backed away from that a bit. What really needs to rule the roost here is this big pink zone, which I'm supposing is a reversal top. This is, if we got to put a name on it, we'd call it inverted cup with handle, like so. And I can flip this upside down so you can see better. This is the upside down version. If this were, if this were really the direction, this would be an extremely bullish chart. You can see cup, handle, breakout, retrace, find support, and supposedly blast off from there. This is the real direction it's going. But the, the multi-trillion dollar companies just keep supporting, here's just a few, I counted, there's seven multi-trillion dollar companies, or not necessarily multi-trillion, but over a trillion dollars, some of them multi. Uh, here's Apple, lifetime high. Here's Meta, very close to a lifetime high close on that one. NVIDIA, uh, I think this is number three or four these days. Not at a lifetime high in the neighborhood. I noticed that SMH, which we'll look at in a moment, I think that's at a lifetime high. So the semiconductor sector is still extraordinarily strong. And some semiconductors don't get much attention at all. You know, we always talk about NVIDIA. Some are actually far more powerful charts. I mean, like here's applied materials, very much, much more data to it. This goes back for decades and just an exceptionally strong long-term uh, bullish movement here. I mean, it's virtually uninterrupted in its ascent since that major October 2022 bottom. It's just about tripled since then. And of course, some what I call permarizers just keep permarizing. Uh, this is Eli Lilly, for instance. I mean, just a few days ago, there was all this news over the weekend about, oh, it's uh, Ozempic causes like blindness and all this other stuff. Maybe a little overstated or nobody cares. It's just lifetime highs again every single day. Just, just an amazing. And this is a log scale. I mean, you've seen what a difference can make it just a simple arithmetic scale looks like this. And that's the truth. That's not some concoction there. It's just a little bit misleading because, you know, it's arithmetic. The log scale looks like so, which, which is still really an extraordinary turn.
I said Tesla was in day 11, and so far it still is. It's up uh, pretty good, about 1%, although given the past, the, the 10 days prior is a pretty modest move. We've just got this just solid blast off going on right here. And as I've said, it's extraordinary because back uh, not even three months ago, this was a uh, $138 stock. Tesla's claim to fame was that out of 500 stocks in the S&P 500, its performance was 500th place. And so for the real contrarians out there who decided, I want to get the weakest stock out of 500, they've done very well because this thing has just blown higher. And as I said yesterday in some detail, it has crossed all the Fibonacci's like so. It has crossed this trend line, it has crossed this trend line. Now it's just kind of in this open air. And it is completely plausible that before this mega rally is over, it gets close to 300 again. It's going to take some doing because this is it's got to be getting tired at this point. I mean, I don't know what the short interest is anymore. Uh, famously, this had a very substantial short interest. I think 15% of hedge funds had a short position against Tesla. I've got to believe a goodly chunk of those have just screamed blue murder and gotten out of the thing. Anyway, it's still doing well. It's funny, too, because there's a certain very famous bearded, bald, chubby commentator who, back on June 24, buy GM, don't bother with Tesla. And this is GM, incidentally. Uh, June 24 is right along here. Tesla went up like 50, 60 percent, something amazing in, in that tiny amount of time. And GM actually managed to go down, which in this market takes a lot of doing to go down at all. Nice job on that one. So uh, yeah, Tesla was clearly the winner. Five, nine. I just think this is cool because uh, this goes back to what I mentioned in terms of bottomless pits, EB. But this is a horse of a different color because it's not at lifetime lows, but it is still in a situation where it's at prices that haven't been seen in a decade. So it's kind of its own flavor of this bottomless pit. So even on a day like this, this is down almost 5%. Pretty amazing. DraftKings, um, still doing pretty well. This is one of my short uh, positions. Uh, on a day like this, especially anything red is uh, gets a medal of honor. Shopify also down over one and a third percent, curving away from this resistance zone. So uh, as before, I've got a whole swath of September, October, November puts, and those were a couple of highlights today. I'm not into these, but I still like these on the short side, these dollar stores that I've talked about so many times, Dollar General, DG, down about 0.8% today, and Dollar Tree, like so, down even harder, about 1.5% starting to challenge this major support zone. What else is out there? Gold itself is having you know kind of a stalled out day, but the miners have really broken out nicely. Uh, let's just zoom in on this. Pay attention of note uh, to this red resistance line. On the one hand, it's broken out, hooray. On the other hand, it did the same thing back here and in a couple of days later it was irrelevant. It's really trying to muster up some strength though. And it would seem to me that, um, you know, and sometimes this happens, it'll like try to pop out, doesn't quite do it. Maybe on the second attempt it can do so, but the miners are definitely acting bullish and are trying to get out of this uh, multi-year slag that it's been in. But uh, that that's looking pretty good on the miner side. Uh, as I said, semiconductors are still just on fire, over 2% gain here, a lifetime high intraday, a lifetime high close almost certainly, based on where it is. This was the prior peak, um, this red dash line, now we're above it. And that of course is benefiting the cubes, which are up about half that much percentage wise. These have been, there's hardly been a downtick in sight since April 22. And of course, either for better or worse, tomorrow probably going to be even more dynamic than today. I will close on a couple of items. Still a big fan of ITB. And I've actually added some more to this today on the short side. ITB is the, uh, the Home Builder CTF. This is a long term play. Um, this is a beautiful topping pattern. As I mentioned, we're getting some powerful strength right here. I'm going to kind of draw the line right along here at 102.06 in terms of it violates that. I think the pattern is sort of impure enough just to, to bail on. But as it is now, this is this is just the textbook retracement back to resistance. So I've added some more to that. But as always, keep a close eye on those bonds. TLT, which is kind of floating within this big symmetric triangle here. We were in this symmetric triangle before, broke down, bounced, perfect bang on the apex there. Now we're in this kind of superset of it like so. 
So this would be really key to make sure that uh, we do not violate this particular level, the gap, and even more so this red resistance line.